Here is another storyline. And this lady wants counsel. So we're, we're all going to chip in a kind word for her in the comment section, please. Do leave a kind comment for her. She says, I married my husband two years ago. My family hates him and his family hates me too. What a wrong foundation for marriage. She says, I married my husband two years ago and now no, she said, I married my husband two years ago. My family hates him and his family hates me too. But we disobeyed all of them and got married. I lived with him for three years because of the family problem before they agreed for us to marry. Because I became pregnant at that point. He was lovely before when he didn't have money. And now everything changed. He beat me and sent me outside almost every midnight if I refuse him sex. Cause I am not in good terms with his family members. I don't have anywhere to run to. I always sleep outside. She said, so this has been happening for, for some months now. And he wants he wants to know everything when and when I get money. And as well as hand the money over to him. I have had a few miscarriages due to beating. And I was enduring it all because I was afraid of packing out because of what people will say. I became tired and packed out of the house a few weeks ago. Since I packed out, he did not call me back. He did not call me for one week. When he eventually called, he gave me an ultimatum to come back or else I should come and pack my things. I went for prayers in two places and they said I should move on and I shouldn't go back there if I want to come out alive. My mother also said the same thing. That I, if anything happens to me while I'm there, I'm on my own. But my brother insists I should go back because I started it all. My mom now is insisting that I should go back because of my two-year-old son. Please, what should I do? Because of this same man, I did not write my waek. I quit school because of him. Now, I don't know what to do, whether to disobey, my, whether to, to listen to my mom and go back because of my child and because my elder brother is insisting. Must I die because I made a mistake? Wow, this is, this is big. I said this is big because this young lady went into this marriage, dropped out of school, and against all odds, went ahead and married this man. For any man who is reasonable, um, because of what the two of them had endured to get married, you would expect that um, they will remain friends and they will work out their differences. But for a man to be so hard-hearted, to be able to send out his wife every night because he wants sex and she says no, that alone is a no-no. That makes that relationship very dangerous. A man that can chase out his wife in the night, not caring what happens to her. I think that is wicked. It is malicious. It is evil. It is a, it's a bad thing. It shouldn't be happening to anybody. And this young lady says she endures beating often and again from this man. And the reason she's not quitting is because she went into the marriage against the counsel of her household, against the counsel of her family. More so now the husband is insisting, sorry, the elder brother is insisting, and the mother who, who is also insisting, despite the counsel they got that if she goes back, she will be beaten and she will die. Well, um, in my sincere opinion, I would say that the marriage is already risky and shaking 
on its own without anybody even contributing anything to it to endure beating from a man and you cannot go to his family because they don't like you you can't run to your own family because you married against their counsel it's a it's a strong thing it's a hard place to be she's between a rock and a hard place so dear sister what would be your counsel to her please let's hear in, in the comment box i would say that um it's her life and you only have this one life to lead and then you have a child to live for if a marriage is not a do or die thing if it works it works if you can make it work make it work but for a man who beats you is it possible to get people to intervene you may want to get his family members to intervene he's always beating you or can your family members intervene he's always beating you he locks you outside the house they should also ask him if it were his sister that was locked outside the house because she refused the husband sex would he like it they will take it from there on another note the woman ought not to be refusing her husband sex sex is a conjugal right that um, it's a man's right except you want to drive him away from the marriage and you don't want him that's the only reason you turn down uh, you turn down his advances it's a ma it's your responsibility to 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 honor your husband in that regard it's your responsibility it's something that you ought to do because that is what you signed up for when you got married it's something you signed up for and you knowingly went into it knowing that that was what you were going to be doing if you are unhappy about things you and your man should be, you and your husband should be able to talk about things you should be able to say my husband i want to talk to you you know when to talk to him you know when he will listen to you and then you talk to him and then he will listen if you have tried all and everything has failed then you know what the option is your life is important your life is important you have to guide your life a man who can drive you out at midnight to go sleep outside not caring whether you are alive or dead as risky as night is that is terrible it ought not to be a man who beats you and you've had two miscarriages the worst part is that you've had two miscarriages as a result of this beating and then they you have been told that if you go back you may die as a result of this beating once you die you die you don't have another life so i think you should prioritize and choose your life against all odds you should choose your life against all odds so women out there please leave a word of counsel remember to give this video a thumbs up please give her a good counsel in the call in the comment section i'll see you again in another video bye bye